legendary Bill Parks, our teacher, said that color can be anything as long as it's reasonable, but your values have to be strong. And I hung on to those words and uh, uh, developed my career off that. So I could have gone in with another color. I didn't have to be cadmium red light and uh, cad yellow there. It could be. It could have been another color. I mean, it could have been cobalt blue, but that's what I felt like at that moment. So let's put that in. Doesn't really, color really doesn't doesn't matter that much, in my opinion. Okay. Now you talk to someone else, and you might get a different different story on that. Children show artistic ability. Um, I do a little bit. Now, sometimes I'll take my uh, my sons on a workshop with me, and they'll paint the whole week. And for an adolescent to stay with a painting the whole week, that's pretty good. But you know, they have their interests and other things, so I, I really don't care if they. I don't care if they go into art or not. You have to really want to do it to make it work. I suppose that can be said about a lot of things. Though. Must have some bumpers down here somewhere. Nice red bumpers. <laughs> Are you still painting on the, on the wet wet paint at this point, or is it's it still damp? Off? Yes. Uh -huh. If you. Uh, if you back off on the amount of pigment in your brush as you're as you're working into this transitional degree of dampness, paper, I, well, the reason I call it is because it's 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 slowly drying, but it's still damp, and then painting into that uh, while it's instead of waiting instead of waiting in between washes, me, instead of waiting for it to dry in between washes, uh, and you just back off on the amount of water that's in your brush. And you won't get the flowering effect, the backgrounds. Now, here's a little bit right here that's happened. Uh, but don't I, I don't worry too much about those. In fact, I just kind of go with what's happening, and let's see if we can make it make something happen. You could always tell in, at the academy who the. Uh, oil painters are when they came into watercolor class because they would be going <laughs> <laughs> and you could always tell the I don't know if I like that you can always tell the uh, watercolor students in the oil painting class because they would come in and take their big brush and just go whoosh, 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 and started that way Well, I suppose we should take a break here soon so you can see what I've got up here, but this is right at that period that I like to put in a few things, so let's, let's hang on. Um, if any of you have the nerve to come up here and stand next to me, you certainly are welcome to and watch. It doesn't bother me at all. So I go back now to my 
photo reference, and I start to say, okay, what's happening? There's something happening here. It's just a shape. Everything's just a shape. There's a shape there. You know, and there's something right here. And we have something there. Something there. But I don't care what it is. It's just a little something. It's kind of like this. It'd be kind of fun with that. Let out a little bit. Let's do that. A lot of color. Lots. Okay, you can take the take the heel of the brush. This is probably is about right now to come in and start <coughs> start to pull in some line work here. It's just about right. So this is this is where timing this is this is not an easy thing to do because timing is so important. Uh, to catch it just about the right. That's an angle heel? Mm -hmm. Is that an angle heel? Yes. It's starting to look like a, like a boat here. <coughs> Any other questions? We're probably going to be really close to being done here. Get too close, I'll let you know. <laughs> you look to Frank all the time. There we go. Now I'll get to Frank. all this, this line work just right, uh, just get the flavor of it. You better back here. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you see it backwards. Yeah. Are you recording sound at the same time? Just about the, <laughs> okay, we're well, just about here. Yeah, let's take a break. I, I need to stop and let this dry a little bit. I think it's nice to have a lot of like that. Oh, I think so too. Exciting. Yeah. Is it just hard to know what color it is? Julian is one of my favorite Seems like they get more and more members all the time. Yeah. Any questions? All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead. Now, this is. This is uh, basically the, the block-in stage, but yet I don't carry a painting too much further past the block-in stage. Uh, I don't see detail. I don't. I don't uh, think detail, and uh, I kind of take the attitude when I go to go to paint in the morning in my studio that. Lunch is in an hour and a half. Let's get on with it and let's get to lunch. So, <laughs> and that attitude seems to 
to seems to help out in my my painting process. Okay, you notice I don't have burnt. I told you I didn't have burnt umber in my palette, but there's burnt umber right there. You can, you can make those colors really easily. Now I felt that uh, it was important to get the eye down to this part of the picture plane. We want to carry the eye throughout the whole picture plane, and then we want to bring it to an area of dominance and hold it there as long as possible. Uh, when I was asking you if you mentioned if you had any questions, it reminds me of when I was in uh, teaching in Peoria just about a year, about a year ago. Um, did a workshop there, and part of that workshop was the uh, that I would I was it was uh, for the, the Methodist Church there. That, that's where the sponsors were, and, and, and they said, well, part of the program is to uh, we have we we deal with and, and work with uh, have an art program for the inner city kids, and so on a Thursday night, can you do them a presentation, do a painting? I thought sure. I thought you know I'm going to give these kids give, give it my best. And so I did a fairly oh, and these kids, boy, they were they were squirming and wiggling around and all that. <laughs> but uh, um, so I, I came up with a real nice painting, and I was quite thrilled. And I said, I said, okay, are there any questions? And this little girl was sitting about right there. They were all over the place, and she said, I have a question. I said, what is your question? And she says. What size shoes do you wear? <laughs> so, okay, let's. Um, you notice here that I do not, I do not have. Uh, a, a transition from this value into this this value for the plane of the boat, and be very careful that you don't feel you have to uh, to show everything, okay? And I think that we can probably do just fine if we bring out just this corner right here. But let's leave some mystery in our painting. We don't have to show everything. Let's just lose it right down here then. In fact, I think it's important to lie a little bit. <laughs> so, do it when it comes to your painting. Tell a story. <coughs> okay, let's see here. I don't know if the painting lady needs a whole lot more than this. See, it seems like, oh yeah, I do need some. I see that I need something down here. Let's, let's put a little color here, bounce a little bit of this yellow down in here. Red. Bring the eye down there. These guys always have stuff on their on the deck that's laying there. And I'm going to throw some cool color right in here. It'll play up against the uh, this warm color that's here. Also important to uh, enjoy your painting process. And I found that ready to try something uh, different now. And it's important to uh, make that change and make that switch and, and go on to something else. That's the only way you're going to learn. Don't get locked into doing one thing. Uh, there can be the, it's a great temptation, uh, especially if you're making a living at it. People expect you to do certain things. Uh, but I would say uh, change, change when you, uh, when you feel like it, change into a different style. And you also have to be careful that once the painting is coming along pretty well, this one's doing pretty well, that you don't go. This feels so good, I'll just keep painting. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know when to stop, and then the depth of despair then hit when you realize you've gone too far. So be 
careful. We don't want to show that load out there too much. <laughs> it's difficult being a, a watercolor instructor because if you are a, if you're an oil painting instructor, you can go. They're in the board. They're around. You can say, ma'am. I think we just need to put a little white on that and kind of mm -hmm. scrape that out and start over. Could you right tell there. me what that is that you're painting right there? Are those this is nets? a reel. Reels? Are they the nets for the, the reels for the nets? Yes. Okay. Here, it's a place for the nets. <laughs> but you can tell, you can tell in your oil painting instructor, you say you can just uh, scrape that out and start over. And it's so hard to say. I think you need to turn that over. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't change it. Or it's difficult. Let's say, let's say it's difficult, or at least it's a lot of work. Okay, whoops, we don't get, start to get too much going here because I'm not paying attention. If you were if you were working on these boats, you would maybe you do, but uh, um, you have these reels in the back that hold the nets. Okay, I'm gonna soften this edge right here. I want to bring your eye up into here and. Uh, Now it's a little distracting down here. Oops, we've got one big one right here too. It's not exactly straight. It doesn't matter. <coughs> See, it doesn't take much detail to start to show, start to show, give some form. Yeah, I was going to put something down here because these guys always have their nets and things around there. Learn to soften your eyes so you can see the whole thing. <coughs> it's very easy to get this tunnel vision in to where you just see the one thing and then uh, you have to see, look, you have to keep looking at the whole thing because the whole thing reads. If you paint like this, you'll have people come up and look at it and go, you know, those are just little dabs of paint. And then you stand back, <laughs> it looks like something. Soften out that shape there. Just, we don't want to bring the eye up into this area. We get rid of some of these points down here. <clears throat> don't get overly focused. Let's see what it looks like in a mat. Loaded it up with uh, paint. The water, I mean. <coughs> Can I take a long lunch? <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Towards me? Yeah. How about if I hold it up for you? I'll hold it up for you. Glad to visit with any of you if you have any more questions. I'm going to Seattle in August. Where is that? <laughs>